As part of Black History Month in October, I interviewed Pastor Calvin Young, who's the senior minister at Mount Zion Community Church in Aston, and in recent months has taken a bit of a lead in pulling together church leaders from right across the city to discuss and pray for racial justice. Now here at Church Central, this very much fits with the journey we're on, where from day one, we've set out to reflect the rich diversity in our city. More than that, our desire isn't merely to be a diverse family of churches, but churches that include, celebrate, and empower those from a minority background. In this third episode, we touch on the painful reality of the slave trade and how this still very much shapes the viewpoint of many black people today. I recognise more recent history, going back two, three, four hundred years, has also had a, a negative impact, hasn't it? At, any comments you want to make on that? Yeah, yeah. And, and the reason why, Jonathan, I, I go back to the Bible, because the Bible has been used as a tool. A lot of Black people um, and Nation of Islam has, has been saying this, and, and, and so we're losing a lot of our Black young people to the Nation of Islam because it's been taught that uh, Christians have used the Bible as a tool to enslave black people and so we have to go back not only to creation and 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 early uh, biblical history but also into church history tertullian and uh a number of other early church fathers they were there in alexandria egypt uh libya and and those countries and so um early christianity went to africa before it came to europe and then spread to the united states um, so we need to correct some historical things in order to help black people understand that they have significant presence in the Bible. But yes, it was taught that um, Ham was cursed and his son was cursed by, by Noah. And we have to recognize it was only Ham who was, um, did some negative things that um, um, Noah spoke negatively over him, um, but he was all over Canaan, and there's still Canaanites there in Egypt, uh, in Israel, up until today, suffering racism, by the way, as well. Um, but it was used that they were cursed, and therefore black people are cursed, and um, they are slaves. And so let's enslave them, and let's use them as, as economical uh, leverage for our our Europe, European development, as well as for the United States. And so millions of, of uh, Africans were, were shipped from Africa to, to the U UK and to the United States. And um, uh, they, they tell us that thousands of them lost their lives at sea and did not um, even make it. Um, I was looking at some stuff, uh, a video that was made um, regarding some of the chains that was made here in Birmingham and was used to chain people. And they found them at the depth of the sea, um, uh, hundreds of meters down into the sea, as well as some of the elephant tusk that they were also exporting was down there. And uh, they, 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 they're ex excavating the, the spot and bringing them up. So a lot, millions of, of black people were used. And let me tell you this, I went to Cape Coast and um, where, the, where the slaves were brought to. And they, they, the tour guide told us that these people were chained together. They died together down there. They, they went to the, to the toilet right where they were. And um, one of the tour guides said, um, it is likely that some of your ancestors you're standing on their remains. And all of a sudden, there's screaming taking place in, in, that, in that dungeon. And some of the ladies couldn't cope with it. They had to run out from there. Um, and, uh, 
And then the tour guide says, right up where you're above you, where you're standing, is the church. And the, there was a church, and there's a church there today. Right there, they're worshiping God with all of that stuff taking place underneath them. That just tells us and gives us a picture of what was done to black people and how black people were seen. Don't know about you, but what's gonna stick with me today is that picture of a church worshiping blissfully unaware of all that historic suffering beneath the surface. You know, I think that is a pretty poignant warning. As white Christians, if we don't understand the awful ways that the ancestors of so many of our black brothers and sisters have suffered, then we run the risk of effectively reenacting that pretty sick image. The question is, how should white Christians respond to this? Well, if you come back tomorrow, we'll find out the answer.